how to own your desires and make them happen. So let's say how to own that you want to be provided for and make them happen. However, for this video, I want to talk about generally, because this goes for everything, not only for the point of being provided for, but for anything. If you want to have a nice car, if you want to have a provided husband, if you want whatever you want, you know, it's so important that you own it because otherwise you can't manifest it. Let me give you an example. So when you kind of feel ashamed that you want to be provided for, you kind of want it, but you don't tell anyone, you don't tell the guys that you are dating, that you want this, and um, because you're afraid to be judged, right? It's going to be hard to find someone who will provide for you. Because when you're feeling so insecure about this point, then one little thing, point of contrast, will take you out of the ground. Just like you being a tiny little tree and one little storm just can, you, can knock you off. But when you become so grounded and stable and secure about your desires, no storm can take you out. Even if people judge you, you're like, I want this and I get only this, okay? And this grounded, this confidence is what you're building the fastest in a one-on-one -on -one coaching container with me, okay? So when women work with me, they fast embody this confidence, this reality, this deservingness. And then guess what? First of all, they don't care if someone judged them. And second of all, people stop judging them. Because if someone is so embodied, like knows I deserve this, I want it, people just start reflecting that energy and start giving it to them and being like, yes, go girl. It's, it's crazy how people reflect your energy. It, and don't tell me it, it doesn't exist. It exists. Even animals reflect your energy. Have you ever seen a dog that walks next to a person who is very scared of dogs and then the dog feels so big and like they can attack the person. But then when the same dog walk, walks next to a person who is very confident, chest out, walking next to it, the dog suddenly has respect. People and animals reflect your energy. So it is a thing, okay? And um, yeah, so what I wanted to share is that um, <clears throat> whenever you judge yourself, you're not confident inside, you, you literally can't attract this reality because people will, will, will reflect that. And the fastest way for you to get out of that zone is one-on-one -on -one coaching, is my mentorship and support. Because I'm conscious enough and trained to not reflect your energy, but pull you up, okay, to this level where you want to be, all right? And um, then the reality starts shifting fast. And if you say, I'm going to try by myself first. Okay, how long have you tried by yourself? The problem with that is that we cannot fix our own issues with the consciousness we created those issues. You, like, let me repeat this. We cannot fix our own issues with the consciousness that we created those issues. So when you're walking around feeling ashamed and judged that I want to be provided for, I want to be engaged and married, I don't want girlfriend and boyfriend relationship, I want true commitment and providing, and you feel ashamed of that, you will attract men and people who make you feel ashamed of that. It's really a sad cycle and you get to break it. Okay, there are ways to break it. So just, you know, saying, this um, because I'm also having spots right now and the energy and the excitement to take on new one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. So if this calls out to you, by all means, reach out because I know it's going to change your life forever. It's going to change your life forever, just getting you to the next level. Okay. And I just want you to be aware that Sometimes when we don't own the next level, when we go into the masculine way of doing things, we're like, yeah, just do it. Let's just go dating and tell everyone we should do it. But then you're going to face so much resistance 
you're going to face men who say no, men who ghost you, men who don't want to pay and provide, girlfriends, people who just tell you that's bad and shame and blame you. So you can choose to, you know, try to hustle your way there, but it's just going to be really hard and you will face a lot of resistance. Okay. And I, instead of, um, I highly suggest you just getting to this confidence of, you know what, of course I get to be provided for, of course I get to have full commitment. This confidence will literally be such a repellent for anyone who isn't a match for you. They won't even talk to you. Yeah, they won't. They will hide away and run faster than you can see. Okay. And it will magnetize the men who um, are available for this. And for the, before we end, I want to share one story that kind of makes me emotional and breaks my heart, but it just has to be shared. So I've seen many times, so many times, men treating me like a queen, treating me with high effort, providing anything that I need, wanting to give me commitment from the beginning. But at the same time, I listen to stories or even like I was in contact with access of them, not like directly, but I would just, they would just be open about the stories. And I would just see how awful they would treat them. You know, they would just take whatever they can from them and run away, like treat them like a predator or not wanting to give them commitment, being super low effort. And actually two years ago, I was still having those thoughts of hmm, those men are kind of really mean and bad guys, right? But then later I decided, actually, actually came to this reflection that this is, you know, this is just natural. They just reflect the energy of the other woman, the other woman who is desperate for love who is not confident enough to ask for a high effort queenly treatment full commitment providing she doesn't even feel worthy of a phone call so and it just broke my heart because those women would just like do anything for them you know give free intimacy drive cook they would try to hustle themselves to be loved and committed to and at the end, it was just a heartbreak. And, you know, my heart really goes out to them. And at the same time, I know that they have been not feeling worthy and not confident to ask for it. Okay. And again, it's something that we are taught in our family mostly. But when you don't, didn't have parents or mother who taught you to be to only accept queenly high effort treatment, then um, you have to find another way. And coaching and mentorship is another way, okay? So save yourself so much bad reflection of the universe, like of people around you. Raise your confidence, raise your self-worth within, and the embodiment happens fastest in one-on-one -on -one coaching. And invest in yourself, reach out to me, and if this calls out, by all means, um, you know, trust the universe. It will support you. And let's just talk, okay? So reach out if you want to embody the confidence in within to be able to attract high effort, loving treatment, full commitment from a multimillionaire, okay? So I'm sending you so much love. And if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. And of course, if one-on-one -on -one coaching reach out, um, one-on-one -on -one coaching calls out to you, then reach out. Um, you can send me an email or you can DM me directly on my social media. Okay, so I see you in the next video.